Ammod echocardiography has good temporal resolution. Hence, measurements of the left ventricle are often taken with M-mode. N-diastolic and N-systolic volumes are estimated from these measurements. The stroke volume and ejection fraction are also calculated from these measurements. Usually, M-mode cursor is guided by a two-dimensional image in the parasternal long axis view. The position of the cursor corresponds to the M-mode cut. The cut is at the caudal level for left ventricular measurements. The following measurements are marked out in the M-mode tracing. LVPWS, left ventricular posterior wall systolic. LVIDS, left ventricular internal diameter systolic. IVSS, interventricular septum systolic. LVPWD, left ventricular posterior wall diastolic. LVIDD, left ventricular internal diameter diastolic. IVSD, interventricular septum diastolic. From these measured values, other estimates are calculated by the computerized algorithm of the echocardiograph. EDV and diastolic volume. IVS by LVPW, ratio of the thickness of interventricular septum and left ventricular posterior wall in diastole. In asymmetric septal hypertrophy due to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, this ratio is increased. It is reduced in septal thinning due to anterior wall myocardial infarction. IVS percentage Percentage systolic thickening of the interventricular septum. Systolic thickening is reduced in scars of myocardial infarction as well as in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. FS fractional shortening. ESV and systolic volume. EF ejection fraction the most important and popular measure of left ventricular systolic function. It is the ratio of stroke volume to end diastolic volume expressed as a percentage. LVPW percent Systolic thickening of the left ventricular posterior wall can be reduced in scarring due to myocardial infarction. Here we see the measurement of E-point septal separation or EPSS in severe left ventricular dysfunction. Normally it is less than 5 mm. Here it is almost 10 mm. B hump is also seen in the M mode of the mitral wall indicating high left ventricular end diastolic pressure. This image illustrates the measurement of iota and left atrium by M mode. Iotic dimension is measured in N diastole while left atrial dimension is measured in N systole. M mode measurements of the right ventricle are seldom taken as this view cuts only through the right ventricular outflow tract and does not assess a major part of the right ventricle. Calculation of ejection fraction of the right ventricle is difficult due to the complex shape. Ideally, the MO tracing has to be timed with simultaneous ECG. But this is often not done as it is cumbersome to connect ECG leads in a busy echocardiography laboratory. If an ECG is attached, correct timing of N systole and N diastole is possible. M mode measurements have an inherent limitation in that it is one dimensional. Better methods of assessing left ventricular function would be two dimensional or preferably three dimensional in modern echocardiographs. But it is often restricted to the research scenario again due to constraints of time. Measurements can be indexed according to body surface area to allow comparison between individuals with different body sizes. According to the American Society of Echocardiography Guideline 2015, 2D echocardiographic images are preferred over a mode to avoid oblique sections of the ventricle. Theoretically, anatomical M mode in which computer software corrects the obliquity can give better M mode measurements, but errors could be there if the angle correction is high.